It's been almost three weeks since Jamal Khashoggi was last seen entering the Saudi consulate in Istanbul, and Riyadh has changed its version of events again. First, they said the journalist had left the building unharmed. Then they said he was killed in a fight. And now the foreign minister has said Khashoggi was murdered. That's what Turkish officials have claimed from the start. Turkey's president discussing the case with his cabinet this Monday. And tomorrow, Tuesday, he's expected to share in parliament the findings of Turkish investigators who've searched the consulate and the consul's residence. Joining me now, our international affairs editor, Armin Georgian. Armin, so we've heard then from the Saudi foreign minister, and he was adamant that the Saudi crown prince had absolutely nothing to do with the murder. Is it plausible that if for something like this to happen and the crown prince not to have any knowledge? I mean, Western analysts of Saudi Arabia uh, pretty much uniformly sceptical of this claim that the Crown Prince wouldn't have known anything about it, firstly uh, because uh, the people who allegedly carried out this operation are said to be close uh, to the Crown Prince, and also, uh, to quote, for example, your uh, guest a bit earlier from the European Council on Foreign Relations, uh, the Crown Prince has actually centralised control when it comes to security operations. So that's what makes it uh, somewhat implausible. Remember also, Claire, that report in the Turkish newspaper Yeni Safak, uh, which said that one of the people uh, allegedly involved in this hit squad had died in a suspicious car accident. So that, of course, will have further fueled the suspicion that there is some sort of cover-up, that somebody knew too much, possibly something involving the crown prince, but in any case that this person perhaps had to be silenced. Now, many Western nations have put pressure on the Saudis to give uh, what they would call a satisfactory account of what happened to Khashoggi. Do they have any real means of pressure, though? Well, that's right. There was that a joint statement from the foreign ministers of Britain, France and the UK calling for a thorough investigation. One wonders how sincere that, uh, that call was, given that these foreign ministers must know full well uh, that the person in charge of uh, investigating the intelligence agency is none other than... Uh, the Crown Prince and that that agency has uh, loyalists uh, of the Crown Prince. Uh, now, there was no hint in that statement also by the foreign ministers that business ties were going to suffer in some way as a result of all this. That was not alluded to. Um, it's true that some CEOs have withdrawn from an important invest investment conference in Saudi Arabia, but they've also made it clear that their companies will continue to do uh, business there. So maybe a symbolic move from some CEOs, but the reality on the ground is that uh, companies and countries don't wish to risk their business ties with Saudi Arabia, which is such a, an important player. Uh, France, just to give you one example, is the third largest foreign investment, uh, foreign investment investor after the US and the United Arab Emirates. So obviously France doesn't want to jeopardize that position, given that it's in competition with these other economic players in Saudi Arabia. I think one key country to watch now, Claire, is going to be Turkey, because, as you said, President Erdogan is supposed to reveal some findings in Parliament, I believe it was, uh, tomorrow. Uh, the question is, is he going to uh, shame the Saudi leadership and really give them nowhere to hide, or is he instead perhaps going to carefully control what information comes out tomorrow and therefore uh, give Riyadh some sort of room for manoeuvre in return for expected economic incentives? Because Turkey, of course, knows just how important an economic player Saudi Arabia is is, and the Turkish economy certainly could benefit from some economic incentives at the present time.